I've caught myself doing fibular mobilizations more and more and more. And here's the reason why. When we're talking about ankle range of motion, especially in motions of dorsiflexion, where I'm trying to get that shin bone to go over the ankle and get that knees over toes kind of motion, a lot of people think the range of motion limitation comes from the ankle joint itself, when realistically it can possibly coming, be coming from a different area. So if we kind of zoom down here, and take a look, look at my man here, what you'll see here on the side here is it's called the fibula, this long bone that runs all the way down. Now, what will be familiarize you with this a little bit is that little bump at the bottom of the fibula is actually the spot when you turn your ankle and sprain it where you have pain because that's where the ligaments attach this fibula to the foot. So when you have an outward roll this way, this is the right foot, when you have an outward roll this way, you end up stretching those ligaments and can get injured there. So just to give you a reference point. But the ability for that, that bone on the side, which is called the lateral myoliolus, to be able to move back and forth has a huge effect on how the midfoot is able to move, which is the bones in the middle of the foot, right? And when those can't move and give you an arch versus a flat foot and they can't, you can't transition between those things, your ability to move that shin back and forth will be limited, and this is why. If you take a look here at this foot, you'll see that when I'm in a high arch position and I try to bring my, my tibia, my shin bone forward in that knees over toe position, I, I, I could possibly have a physical block here, okay? But now if I can get that motion out of the way by moving the fibula internal rotation way, this way, as I go here, that foot kind of flattens out. Now that physical block of that doming of the middle of the foot is kind of out of the way. I can now translate my tibia past and actually allow my foot to move in that direction. And I can allow that knees over toes capability to improve. So what I've been doing a lot in my practice is actually mobilizing that fibula quite a bit to allow better ankle mobility, better squatting, better movement.